Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the end, almost, I think. We're pretty close to the end of Divinity Original Maybe. Sin, Enhanced Edition. It's getting close, Ben. Uh, we got through the temple, which... Um, which, which is was a lot more easier than, than we it, initially yeah. thought. <laughs> we made it harder on ourselves than it necessarily needed to we be. We could have finished it, Ben. Like, well, we could have gotten through like a it. a whole episode earlier. Yeah, we just didn't recognize that we didn't click that... Uh, the button. The button. Well, then again, also, we didn't realize that we could disarm the, the traps, those little, like, dispenser which, traps, which we could have we done the entire game. A hundred episodes ago. Yeah, that was, that's a thing. Uh, 60 hours ago, we should have figured that one out. Yeah, now, where, where the fuck was the comments then, huh? Where the fuck was the comments <laughs> then? <laughs> I'm blaming all of you. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, right, let me just... Uh, let's repair... You know, finish healing with door of repair up and then we'll head inside yeah well also also heal up bear daughter because she's okay she needs she's a little low she's a yeah, little while well, well, and while okay, we're doing so... this you could send her breastplate or whatever she has to get repaired over to bear daughter to bear daughter and bear daughter let me check everything else i'm just gonna send her everything okay just tell me when you send everything and then i'll <sighs> daughter and their daughter. Okay, that's everything. All right. Magnus, heal. Who's its daughter? It's it's funny because um, uh, Leah really likes to watch the cro like the CrossFit games, and um, just for for some reason, a lot of like Icelandic women participate in that. So a whole like a disproportionate number of the, the people they like like the popular ones that they follow around with the cameras are named uh like something something daughter like sigmund's daughter and and so on and so forth so whenever we go to, uh, leah starts watching that we go to play this i was like oh her daughter must be really into some crossfit <laughs> i mean yeah she's you know she's she looks all right. Yeah, she's got pretty I good mean, define. She's got a good definition. Like the, the CrossFit game, like watching that stuff, makes me like feel horrible for these people, bo these people's bodies, because a lot of the exercises they do looks like they're just gonna just one of these days they're just gonna snap their spine in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know some CrossFit people, <laughs> but yeah, I look good doing it though. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. All right. Everything's back with Medora. Okay. Uh, uh. I, I, don't, I don't need good definition. I don't need to be, you know, buffed all beyond all belief or anything like that. I just need to be at a healthy weight and to be able to do things without, like, dying. That's I'm good with that. Well, yeah, like, like, no, what I, I found out last like, yesterday when b before shit went down in the armor op, like I was I was um, in our stagger column. I was next to uh, Schultz uh, or radioactive, whatever, whichever one he's going by, and. Uh, you know, they were making fun of me for being, you know, two-dimensional. Like, I weigh, like, 140 pounds. And he goes, yeah, I'm worse. And I was like, why? What do you weigh? He's like, I weigh 125 pounds. I was like, well, how tall are you? 6'2". Oh, yeah, you're, you're a lot <laughs> he more guy. chicken wingy than me. <laughs> Is he that guy that that does, like, all of the bits where they need, like, long, gangly people in the movies? Like, yep. uh, like the guy that did yep. play the ice cream man in, in Legion and... Uh... And, uh, See what I think. Of that's the only one the I can remember. Play, I feel really bad because that was a who, shitty movie. <laughs> that was one. That's the only the role. guy who plays Loxwan and Troy's manservant in yes. uh, Star Trek Next Gen, Mr. Hom, who's Mr. also Hom. in uh, Twin Peaks. Is he in Twin Peaks? Yeah. Oh, he's 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 the guy. He's the guy in like in like one of the the, the uh, in the dreams where he's like two birds with one stone. Oh. He's like he's like say. He's like saying like an adage and like this really weird like slurred accent and black and white. That's him. Oh. Huh. So are we good? To get... <laughs> that Twin Peaks aside, are we good to go? Yeah. Yeah. No, we're good. <laughs> <I> just... Woo. <laughs> this is what they come for, Ben. They come for us to talk <laughs> randomly about random shit. <laughs> about Mr. Home. About Mr. Well, it's a Star Trek related, so I mean, it it, mm -hmm. it works. Mm -hmm. Yep. If okay, you're supposed so to be Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. I'm supposed to know all of the. Uh, uh, I'm supposed to be Star, Star Trek and drunk. I got that. Star Trek and junk. Yep. Do you want? Uh, can you do thunder jump? Thunder jump? I don't have. What, if I what, gave what, you a like scroll. Class? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. 
because I have I have two Thunder Jump Scrolls. Jump from one target to another, hitting a maximum of two targets, stunning them and dealing. Give give those to Medora. Because I've had these for a while, and I just I, I can't yeah, give use them. To Medora because she's the one who usually needs to traverse the battlefield quickly. Because half the time Magnus is just doing buff spells or heals in the backfield, and Medora's the one that needs to get in everybody's face. Hmm. All right, so before we take a step forward, do we want me to go first, assuming things are going to, uh, baddies are going to pop, or you to go first, assuming there's going to be traps? It's the final area of the game, so I don't, they're either not going to do anything differently, or they're going to do everything differently. It's, <laughs> there's, there's, oh, you laugh, but that is the only two options. <laughs> Uh, I guess On the mend. I will go forward like this, and we'll just see. Let me check my map, see what the area looks like. This is a big open area. This is the Source Temple. Mm -hmm. I thought this yep. would be more foreboding. It's more of a Source Cave, I think. <laughs> or was the Source Temple the thing on the ground? Uh, the uh, the surface. Like the top side, and this is this is this is the. the oh look, under, a button. Under temple. <laughs> oh. Hey, that worked. <laughs> yeah, that did a thing. That did a thing. Do we want to go, go down here. there first, or do we want to explore this big open area first? I guess we'll explore. Wait, let's see. Let's look at the map. Let's explore the open area first. Got we'll it. Come back. Then we'll come back here. That makes sense. Be on the lookout for buttons. Did you see that button, or was I the only one that saw that button? No, it, it, it like you said, hey, there's a button, and then like half a second later, it popped in. You know, when it was like kind of glowy. Like okay, so I discovered. Okay, there are scorch marks here. There are scorch marks. We're clear. <laughs> I think. Uh, okay, this looks like a. Step on a I step on a fucking shoe mine again, I know it. That is a broken mirror. That's a broken portal mirror. Like those green ones that take you places? Yeah. I can tell by the shape. Log updated inside the source temple. She broke the mirror. Leandra went through and broke the mirror behind her. There must be a secret passage leading to the Trial of Ascension. <laughs> Where could it be hidden? I wonder, Roach. Just checking around for any, like, uh, loot. Oh, we have things to talk about. Uh, apparently. It's lost. Leandra is a few lost. steps ahead of us yet. I think we can safely guess it was she who used this path and broke the mirror behind her. We'll have to take the hard way through the temple. Onward then, to the trial of ascension. We'll make short work of it. Yeah, There's I'm... nothing we can't overcome now. Nothing in all of Rivalon. We're really just uh, yes men for each other, aren't we? Yep. Why complicate things? By the way, we can dig up this area. I don't have the right tool for digging. Do we not have a shovel anymore? Did we get rid of the shovel? Must have at some point. Why would we ever get rid of the shovel? <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Oh well. I guess we must have sold it at some point and. Our or dropped it. We, we were there was a couple um, things where we were dropping shit on the ground to activate buttons. You know, just grabbing random loot. We did put a shovel, shovel down to activate one of those. Uh, to one, uh, like a this switch. This looks perfectly safe. Hey, look, it's perfectly safe. I was being sarcastic, but fine. It's perfectly safe. Uh, debuff perception minus two perception. Why would you ever want to put that on yourself? I think you can put it on weapons. Oh. It's like something, it's like a coating you can put on. Mm. So just yeah, keep going. Just around? Uh, yeah, once it loops all the way around, then we go up the uh, the path we discovered. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll go over that way. Can't help but feel mm -hmm. I'm forgetting something that I wanted to do before we did stuff. That, that, Probably. That, You'll remember it the second that we run into some baddies and start dying. Yeah. That's how it goes. 
I like that there was that uh, that magic mirror for teleportation to get to this place, but then also a very obvious side passage that she's like it would be the the, the preferred manner of of getting there. I don't know. She's a sorceress, so I mean, she would hate walking because it's you know not yeah, magic. Yeah, true. <laughs> Her muscles have atrophied since she didn't have to do anything for so long. <laughs> I wish to enter, enter your inner chamber. Ah, great one. Your ascension is not yet complete. Enter you may, and enter you shall. But first you must remember... The fragments of your mind and soul are still in disarray. Collect them, arrange them, and then you will be ready for what lies beyond. Okay, talking your door. journey may yet take you deep within the corners and castles of Rivelon's greatest secrets. Oh, succeed, yep, this is what I remembered. Clear. We don't. What? We don't have enough uh, star stones. Star stones? Yeah, we need to 25 total for the final area, I think, to be unlocked. Because we need all of our memories. And we unlock our memories with star stones on the tapestry. And we're like, uh... I think we're like So we four, can't get in? We're like four away or something like that, so we need to do... We need to find star stones. Okay. The door, the door blocked our passage, saying we must first remember before we can pass through. We must need to find more star stones to remember more of our past before we can continue. Uh, let's head back to the inner sanctum, or the not the inner sanctum, the the uh, the end of time. Uh, there may be. The end of time. <laughs> I thought we encountered a star stone um, since last time we went there, so maybe we'll, we'll have a new area. Maybe somebody annoying will talk to us. Well, you know. You never know. Yeah, see, this last passage, this Earth portal should be open. Along with all the other portals. So. Nope, doesn't look like it. We need a few more. <clears throat> Let's see here. So we need... Okay. Okay, so what... What? It's just... It's gotta be quests we gotta go through. Yeah, you... You can also find them in the game. Like, you can find them in the world as well. Uh, the original sin. I am not typing this in my phone. This is perfectly... Uh, star... Stones. This is me talking aloud very slowly. It's how he thinks. It's how, yeah. It's a condition. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> made it inside the source temple. We are incomplete. Must restore ourselves before we can get into blah, blah, blah. Do you have any star stones in your inventory? Let me look. What do they look like? They would... I don't know, but they would be... Because you collect them all the time. They'd be... Type. It would just be star stones. I have bloodstones, inert stones, tormented souls, a diamond. Uh, uh, no. We encountered... We got the both of them in the, the Immaculate Temple in Silver Glen. Because there were two in there. We got both of those. Did we destroy the talking Iron Maiden in Hyberheim? No. We didn't destroy that. There's one in there. It's a bloodstone. Bloodstone and star stones count. For the, they both count. What well, bloodstones count? We need a shovel because there's one inside of the there's one in that that place that we uh, we could dig up that had a star stone in it. Okay. Because I got three bloodstones on me. Uh. Use use them. Or send one of them to send one of them to, to, to random three people here, and we'll just use them because maybe it'll each give us like a bonus. Or uh, Roach. All right, then let's just let's use them. All right, you do yours to see what happens. Bloodstone, as powerful as it is sinister.
uh, yeah, the thing just, the rift travel thing just started glowing again. Yeah. Which usually... So yeah, use, use all of them. Did you use both of yours as well? No, I was waiting to see what no, happened. No, go with ahead, you first. use yours first. Let's just get all three of these down. So we've just been holding on to these for a while. This also gives us, like, a decent amount of XP. Yeah. Like a single enemy. Well, and Medora can use hers. Alright, the imp stones. is gone. He's gonna be at the front of the... He's gonna be at... <laughs> he's gonna be hanging out over here now? I don't know where he's at, actually. Where... Here, let's, uh, let's maybe just refresh. Back to the end of time. Or let's get out of here and then go... Let's just... Go anywhere. Yeah, maybe, maybe they don't we'll, intend we'll for that to here. happen. Maybe, yeah, maybe they don't intend for you to do it here. <laughs> <laughs> we never did. We haven't done anything in the proper order here. All right, and then we'll scrooge back to the end of time. The end of time. They anyway, call it a mine. The back, yep, there he is. Yep, here he is. Three of them. Mm. Mm. We might have to actually do this like multiple times, like we did last time. Yep. Remember? <laughs> I think I may have nearly figured out why Source became so terribly tainted. If Astarte is the goddess of the Source, and the Void was contained in her very garden, might it stand to reason that it was in fact the Void who turned Source into such a dark and terrible power? The evil thing turn things evil? You don't mm. say. Time has been restored. I must speculate no more, and instead we must see what new shred of our tale you've uncovered. With the guardians distracted, oh. Oh. a starting hard cut there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what she saw was nothingness. Astarte had called forth the Void Dragon, whose sole purpose was to undo all creation. Who created the Void Caught Dragon? Guard and terrified, the Guardians In existential here. Fled. Ah, we left. <laughs> we just pushed out. Hold of the dragon and hurled it and herself into the reaches of the Void. Here she battled the dragon for all eternity. For his deception, the trife was cast out of the first creation. He fell to rivel on a monstrous creature unworthy of the realm of the gods. Since that terrible day, Source has been tainted by the presence of the Void. A once beautiful power has become corrupted, and those attempting to wield it... Often go Who's that guy? That's my oh, dad. Like you know. <laughs> <laughs> Coswin. <laughs> we restored the tapestry's final thread. We learned the guardians are uh, so overcome with by guilt that they ripped their our threads from the tapestry of time. Their threads fell to Rivalon and became star stones. I don't think we actually uncovered that. Because so, mm. there's still a bit that's uncovered. Oh, whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, who could blame us? I blame us for that. No. We were guardians, protectors. We should have stood with Astarte, not fled like cowards. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? And Should least... we go see the Tapestry of Time? Well, he went over here. Refresh? There's a new, uh, there's a new, the Traitor's Emporium. Oh. I wonder who awaits you in the next... That's the wrong oh, one. That's, that's, that's the wrong one. Why did she... Yeah, it's over this way. Well, I, I just I saw him and there's a thing over there. He always stands next to the one that opens. <laughs> Oop, that's a giant jellyfish. Oh, it's cute. Stop doing that. Start it. Heed my plea in these void-filled hours. The dragon is. Yeah, you have that conversation. I'm gonna go hang out down here. See what's going on. The skies are darkening, and the stars are being extinguished. You have to reach me. Star stones will pave the way. This guy named Brian over here. 
only Starstone can stay the Maelstrom now. So we need to find Starstones. That's that's what that, that message was about. Okay. Hey, B-Dog. What do you got to... Yep, this guy's just got shit to sell. Does he have... Does he have a, uh, a shovel? Because we need that. Mm, no. <laughs> nope, nope. He's got some interesting looking weapons, but that's, that's basically it. This is the gist of it. Sell a bunch of crap. <clears throat> I like how they have a sound effect of gulls in the background yeah. in the spaceport, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I wonder if that's because the creaking, like the boat creaking noises and stuff, is tied in with the same sound effect it's pro package. It's probably, yeah. Like there's a nice ring in here for for uh, Bear Daughter, maybe plus two dex and some resistances and some movement, plus two intelligence wrong. Uh, ooh, plus two intelligence wrong. No, I've already yeah. got one that gives me plus two. And she has a ring that gives yeah, her plus that. one dex and intelligence plus resistances. And it's, I think that one's better. Just two, two, you could carry two rings. Yeah, her other ring gives her pickpocketing and immunity to stunned. Which, I like the immunity to stunned more. Okay. That's, that's yeah, good. Yeah, well, it, it, it comes up a lot. Yeah. Oh, I picked up uh, Fun with Fluids 5. Oh, send that over to me. I think I don't, I don't think I've read that. Send to Roach. Nope, I've read it. <laughs> I wish there was like a list so I could know. Yep. Yep. Yeah, like, check them off. Yeah. Send Wouldn't that be great? Beer daughter. Beer okay, I'm daughter. good here. I got, I got a ring out of it. Recipes, arrows. Slow down arrow. Boom. Okay. I guess let's head back to the, uh... To the main area. See if we unlocked anything else with the three that we, uh... The three I think we... Stones. Well, may maybe, maybe when we pop through that... Well, let's just do it through this thing. Nope, not... Nope, nope, nope. To the end of time. Uh... Oh, he's walking with purpose. Yep, we have another elemental thing over here. Oh, oh. and another one. Oh, that's, that's the last thingy. That's the last thingy. And we also have a new elemental area. may at least reveal itself. The final thread of your memory may be restored. Let us walk. To think we had this in our inventory the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> the guardians had failed. Source was tainted, the void was loosed, and all that stood between Rivalon and Annihilation was Astarte herself. Overcome by guilt, they hoped to undo their failure by undoing reality itself. What? And so no, 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 no. That sounds like one of our plans. <laughs> of oh, yeah, it does. We didn't fuck up if history doesn't exist. <laughs> we didn't fuck up if we destroy the world. Nobody will know. As their threads fell to Rivalon like shooting stars. We killed all the dinosaurs. They hardened into crystals. The people called star stones. Oh, we're collecting our we're collecting our bodies, mm -hmm. our bits of our soul. That makes sense. Yeah, it's cool. It's so cool. the souls within us intentionally tore themselves from the tapestry of time. Hmm. You know what, Gray? Jokes! Oh, and look what's Everything. happened! They killed themselves in the most thorough manner possible, only to bring more grief through Starstone. I'm gonna pick this one just because it has the word God Box in it. <laughs> Still, duty is honor, and honor is duty. 
I can understand their not being able to live with having failed to protect the God Box. <laughs> they really needed to come up with a better name for that. They really did. Uh, we got one more thing to unlock here. Oh no, there we go. Hall of Stone. And then we've just got Pete over here, spelled in. Ah! Oh, hi. Stop doing right that! This. <laughs> Write him. What good can come of your misguided actions? I have tried to warn you. I have tried to be your friend by pointing toward the one great truth that is the Void Dragon and say, relent. For you have failed before. Why is it so difficult for you to accept that which is inevitable? <laughs> I've never came across anything that I wouldn't die for. <laughs> Just put men and bodies into it and it'll it'll get fixed. <laughs> they don't call me commissar for nothing. That's not how non-existent works, buddy. <laughs> no... A blessing awaits beyond the end of time. Accept it, for it is yours to receive. I like a blessing. Let's go. To be our friend, that the spirit of Father Nature came to me in a dream last night, and he told me, "Can't you tell? I'm the universe. You're the." Oh, he's a hippie. <laughs> with the spirit of nature with that most pleasure my friend all right i guess we're this has witchcraft scrolls nice and earth scrolls it's that's a it's a whole lot of you yeah let me check my let me check is it is it at all weird that we've basically been eating other people's souls just to regain no these are our souls. knowledge well, yeah, but the, the star stones become bloodstones when you, like, drip the blood of an innocent eye. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, the bloodstones, yeah, it's weird. But, I mean, the star stones are just <laughs> our souls. Well, yeah, 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 that's a, yeah, I know that. But, I mean, the last few, we've used, like, five bloodstones. Eh, you know, it's just semantics at that point. Let's just... <laughs> uh, how many things can I can learn? I can know six novice, four adept, and one master. Oh, oh! I can learn the uh, I can learn the the master level death punch. Learn, okay. Which we haven't actually used yet. Well, no, I, I, that was another thing I forgot. I needed to learn that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I can learn three more novice uh, witchcraft things, and I can I can learn three more adept witchcraft things. So now now, now we don't need the shovel, right? Because we yeah. Now we don't need the shovel. Yeah, that's a point. It's a good point. Uh, Vampiric Touch, I already know. Mute is an adept. Oh, there's the Resurrect skill book. Nice. Yeah. So we don't need to spend the money to buy a shovel. All we had to do was drink the blood of the virgins. I mean, if you want to put it that way, yes. Uh, yeah, I... I mm. it's, it saved us money. Sh sure, yeah. I'm just going to sell off some things that I don't need. Some old bows that are just sitting around. Are right, you just going to sell shit to him? Yeah, like all these one-handed dex weapons that have been just... Oh, just yeah, sitting around for ages. Yeah, all of these. Just get rid of all of them. Any wands that are not above common... Basically, any common thing I'm selling, because why would I keep it, right? Yep. Well, I'm glad I got that plus two uh, strength ring. Oh, nice. Eh, that is pretty nice. 
Sell off these books that I don't need. I think that's good. There we go. Alright, I know three more uh, spells for witchcraft now. Well, we should wrap it up here, though, because we're at the end of our time. We are. So let me just learn these skills. Apparently I had an, a mute skill book already. Alright. Well, thanks for joining, everybody. We do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying the series. And we will see you next time. Bye!